In the summer of 2003, the lights went out for 55 million Americans across the Northeast. Panic spread throughout New York State, injuring hundreds. 11 people died in the dark. What was to blame? A small vulnerability inside the state's transmission control room. Raymond Kenny, a disgruntled employee, unleashed a virus and walked away. Four hours later, the system overloaded and the grid shut down. Ten years on, modern systems have advanced exponentially. 2011 marked the installation of America's first central operating system. CTOS is a computer software that manages entire cities, providing centralized control over subway lines, traffic lights, surveillance cameras, and electricity grids. A computer now controls a major city, but who controls the computer? The answer is private companies that have everything to gain from a CTOS. Personal data collection is the key commodity. You are no longer an individual. You are a data cluster bound to a vast global network. Last year, the average American cast a digital shadow of over 2.3 gigabytes. What does that represent? Of course, there are credit cards, medical records, and reading habits, but a CTOS includes much more. Massive data silos track and sort every moment of your digital life, revealing how you think and what you believe. That information could be turned against you, not just to sell products, but to influence your worldviews. CTOS directly links your personal information to the physical systems you use every day, essentially providing a direct line to your bedroom laptop. Because all data is interconnected, from Nigerian email scams to hardcore pornography, online shopping to emergency services, it's all part of the same network. Ten years ago, one man shut down the entire Northeast from a central control room. Today, everything can be hacked. No one knows what part of the system will be exploited, but everyone agrees the next assault will do more than just turn out the lights.